Mr. Speaker, sir, I also rise to join the Leader of the House, the Leader of the Opposition and other members in offering our heartfelt condolences to the families of the leaders whom the state and the country as a whole has lost. Let me begin by mentioning the first the leader whom I had known the longest, right during my early days when I was employed in the Megafed Corporation. I used to visit uh, the city of Calcutta very often. Because in Meghalaya House, we had an outlet that sold the produce of our state, which was in great demand at that time and also now. And about the same time, Arjil Lindo was a student at the XLRI student Jamshedpur. And during his uh, short term holidays, he would rather prefer to stay in Calcutta in my brother's apartment where he was an employee there too. And we used to meet very often. And that association carried on. And our relationship between the two families also was very strong. And this morning, in fact, I shared a photograph which was shot in 2006 when late R.G. Lindo, late Jirinubai and myself were members of his August House where we were, at that time, late Jirinubai was the Chief Minister and we were discussing something very important. So I said, let me share the photograph. It's, it had been given to me when I went to visit late Jiri Rumbai's family when he passed away. Subsequently, sir, in 2003, the Congress party had no candidate from Sorangham. So, one day I recall, it was the winter of 2021, uh, 2001, when late Arjil and late David Lingvi, who was then the CM of the District Council, came into my house and sat down and said, we want you to be the candidate from Sorong Khan. I said, what? I said, I don't even know where Sorong Khan is to start with. But that was, they told me that they encouraged me. And I started my political career in that year and one, and we became members of this house and carried on subsequently. So this association was one of the longest I had with the families of both Archilindo and ours. And if I go on to mention all the works that he has done for the state, I don't think I'll be doing justice to that. But similarly, we worked together with J.D. Rimbagli, J.D. Rimbai also, and he was a man of impeccable honesty, truth, and dedication. It will be very difficult to find leaders to replace them in both these areas, of both these constituencies, and also in the whole state as, state as a whole. Because, as we all know, the probity in life cannot be questioned. It is a great loss to all of us, Great loss to their families, to his immediate wife and children, to his siblings, and to all who were associated with both Arjilindo, late Arjilindo and late Jirinambai. I also want to condole the death of late Almiston Sangma. I did not have the privilege to meet him, but what is said about him? will be cherished a lot by the people of Garo Hills and those who knew him from our side of the region also. Then we come to Leet Singh Muli. He was a member of this house when I was also here. 
And I recall in those days, sir, there was, uh, we had started the construction of the Lafarge Mining Cement Corporation, where the limestone was being dug from Shela to be transported via conveyor belt to the other side of the border. And he was one of the MLAs who was quite vocal against it because he felt that the environment will be destroyed or affected. During the same time, sir, I remember when Sri Martin Dango was the speaker, we had the opportunity to visit the Parliament House in London to see how the proceedings of the House was taking place. And during one of our visits, we happened to leave London and come to Paris. And just as we entered the suburbs, there was a big factory with a signboard written Lafarge. Then he asked me, the singular, he says, Bajal, this factory is right in the middle of the city. I said, yes, the cement factory. He said, then why are we objecting to digging of limestone in Shella? So this person, Lee Singhmuli, realized then that, that if we need to object to anything, we should know first the facts. And then perhaps we will overcome our fear about our, this, our, how we decide that the way forward in the future. So, with these few words, I once again, through you, convey my deepest condolences, heartfelt sympathies to the families of all the stalwarts and leaders of the country and our state. And may God give the families the strength to bear this loss. And I pray that their soul rests in eternal peace. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, sir, I too rise to participate in the obituary references in this August House. My constituency, sir, has lost two great leaders and it is but fitting for me to rise and remember the two leaders who were my predecessors of the constituency with a sense of great loss, I remember late Robert Karachi, who was the MLA of Lalinkra Assembly Constituency in 1990. But Robert is known to be an individual who was involved in several social activities prior to his joining active politics and is known to be an individual who has exemplary leadership qualities. His contribution to the constituency will be remembered dearly and through you, sir, I send my message of condolences to the bereaved family members. Sir, I also remember late Mr. J.D. Rimbai, former Chief Minister of the State of Meghalaya. I was then a young youth leader of the Indian National Congress, and I have seen that Mr. J.D. Rimbai, as well, is an individual who had impeccable character. He was known to be kind, soft-spoken, a caring individual, and a person who was in a habit of consulting 
all friends in politics as he brought out his character of being one of the most remembered and revered chief ministers of the state of Meghalaya. Through you, sir, I send condolences to the family, to the bereaved family of late Mr. J.D. Rambai. Honorable Speaker, sir, I also remember late Ba Singh Mole, who was also a person with whom I had an opportunity to work with. He was a member of the United Democratic Party. And at that point, when I was a young entrant in politics, I, will, I was guided by this great individual who was also a person of great depth, great vision, and great patience. Through you, sir, I send condolences to the family, bereaved family of late Ba Singh Mule. Honorable Speaker, sir, I also rise to remember the soul of late Albinston M. Sangma, who died and left for his heavenly abode at a ripe age of 97 years. Unfortunately, I never had an opportunity to meet him personally or work with him closely, but from what colleagues in this August house have mentioned, his memory deserves great reverence. Through you, sir, I send my message of condolences to the bereaved family of late Albin Stone and some M. Sangma. Honorable Speaker, sir, we also lost our brother, late Ba Arji Lingdo. His loss has made a big dent on our family, but we are overwhelmed. We are encouraged. We stand consoled by the hundreds of messages that continue to come to us. When people remember the small efforts put in by late Ba Arji Lingdo in his efforts to better the community, not of those that he represented, but also of the state in general. Sir, Ba Arji Lingdo leaves behind a great legacy. It is a fact that to fill this vacuum would be very great, a big challenge. But we are with hope because we know that the teachings of my late brother will remain to guide us, his family members, who take over from this huge image of a man of principles, a man who stuck by his words, a man who made sure that he acted as he spoke. It is a fact that my late brother was ailing from cancer since 2010. In our efforts to remember this great soul, we would like to also be part of any movement that will work to ensure that cancer as a dreaded disease in the state of Meghalaya is addressed adequately through all possible means because the people of the state of Meghalaya are now understanding the deadliness of this disease called cancer. We will, as a family, rally through our services
to our individual platforms, along with government, to ensure that cancer patients in the state of Meghalaya receive the attention, the assistance, the finances to be able to overcome this dreaded disease. In his short life of 62 years, my late brother was a partner to ensuring that poor families, the underprivileged, those that cannot afford cancer treatment, received all opportunities through various government schemes to be able to fight the disease that is today becoming a number one killer in the state of Meghalaya. <coughs> through his life, through the celebrations of his, of his, uh, of his uh, ability to come to terms with the pains of cancer, as a family, we urge all well-wishers of our family to get together to ensure that people suffering from cancer get all the help they require. My late brother has left behind a legacy of, of uh, true statesmanship, a legacy that gives us the courage to fight all elements that are working against the growth and rise of the state of Meghalaya. Through you, sir, I would like to thank you personally for spending your valuable hours with our family in our time of loss. We would like to also thank the Honorable Chief Minister, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, friends, well-wishers who continue to sing praises in honor of late Ba Arji Lingdo. We accept this reality and through his celebration of life, we'll try to pick up all the threads of this great loss and utilize them positively to ensure that the state of Meghalaya grows from year to year, from generation to generation in his honor. Sir, I also send through your office and your kind self obituary uh, uh, thanks to all these individuals who have also passed away in this short period since our last session. All of them must have be, made a great impact in their local responsibilities. And all of them and their families must be remembering these great souls who have dedicated whatever number of years towards being legislators or MPs or important people who have added towards building our country and this great nation. With these few words, sir, I thank you once again, and I resume my seat. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to join uh, along with the Honorable Chief Minister, Leader of the Opposition, and other members of the August House in the sad demise of our, of our leader from our state and members from the nation. So for the last uh, six months, we have lost uh, many leaders. In his own way of our contribution, if it is uh, MLS, if it is an MPs, if it is a minister, we have lost uh, our leader. So I'm sure that all the, all the leaders, if it is in our state, even the nation as a whole, they have contributed a lot for the constituency that uh, he or she represented, and also that uh, also uh, the contribution for the nation as a whole. So coming to our state, sir, we have lost the uh, late Robert Khashian, a leader who have uh, 
contributed a lot uh, for the development of uh, his own constituency. Before we knew that uh, Lime Kra was the constituency that he represented, but now it's a uh, East Geelong, uh, 16 East Geelong. So while I remember of uh, the contribution of the great leader like Robert Kachian, we are together in the uh, Kasi Student Union because we are both uh, we are the product of the union. Uh, we work together. Though at the time I was only the active members of uh, of the KSU, but as a leader at the time, I may say that uh, you have uh, a leader who have a vision, a leader who love for his own uh, society, and leader who led me to do something for the state and the, and, uh, the nation as a whole. He was a former uh, MLA, MP, like Honorable uh, Chief Minister of all these set. We are proud of him, sir. During the tenure as a uh, MP of Raja Sabha, I have already uh, looked for the one of the uh, a session in Raja Sabha, the way he put forward for the, uh, for the issue of the nation and issue of uh, the state. I may say that uh, I still remember, I'm inspired but the way he stand, the way he deliver his speech, and the level he try to be convinced, convinced of, of the uh, house. He's a person, uh, I may say, that well educated, but uh, I may say that uh, that is a person that he would like to do something for, uh, for the state and the nation as a whole. So uh, his loss is a great loss to the family members, a great loss meant to uh, the 16 is long, a great loss meant to the state, and a great loss meant to uh, the nation as a whole. So we have lost uh, another great leader, late Jiri uh, Dambai, former MLA, former minister, former chief minister. He was also before he was a deputy speaker, and also, the, and also he was uh, a speaker. No doubt like, all members uh, knew about uh, his contribution. Contribution in the House, contribution in the in his, uh, constituency, and contribution in the seats of whole. He's a very simple man, but uh, before he speech, he have uh, well cal calculated the way he put his words. That's the reason why I may say that uh, he never slipped his tongue while when he speech because he's well calculated. He's a very simple man. Because of uh, that reason, uh, the Ajirang uh, constituency, the people of Ajirang uh, constituency, they have a continuous continuity vote for him for five concept term. Do you have been starting with his political career as from the INC, Indian National Congress, at one point of time, because of uh, the miss differences uh, in the INC, he left the party and joined with the UDP, but even then I remember that uh, he won with uh, a big margin. This has shown that uh, he's a person who has got uh, the uh, love and affection from people of Jiran constituency and also the Riboy uh, district and the state as a whole. But his loss is a great loss because he's a very simple uh, person. So we have lost another leader from, from Gentiles. That is uh, Lead Singh Mulin. A person I was uh, together. In the, in the year 1998 and to, to 2003, we are, we are in the cabinet. I hold uh, exercise, sports, and, and others. Then he hold the PhD, PhD department. But I may say that uh, at that time, he have only been uh, sanctioned of some scheme in my constituency. I remember him at the time when uh, in his office, in his residence, but most of the time I may say that uh, he would like to see that the gentiles, this, the gentiles uh, person should be grow and prosper, gentiles should be developed, and the status should be developed. He's a very simple man. He has uh, he have been uh, uh, the MDCs for many time there from 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 Jan Hills, but the, his loss is a great loss meant to family members, his constituency, and also the state as a whole. 
So we have lost another leader that lead Albin Stun M. Sangma. Right, honorable member have already been uh, uh, set, though I have not been uh, together at the time, but his contribution for the government, I may say that uh, the present generation, the present, uh, uh, the present uh, people in the, in the country, the present, and especially governors, they will still remember about the contribution. I've only mentioned here about, uh, about some of the uh, plan conservation that have only been his mind during that time. But people still today have all this still remember. I may say that uh, it is a loss for member, free members and the people of the Gaulus as a whole. So we have lost uh, another great leader like late R.G. Lingda, a friend of mine. In the year uh, 1988, I was together with him. He was a home minister. I may say that uh, late honorable members knew him. He's, a, uh, he's an open-minded person. Whatever he has in his mind, his heart, he will like, he cannot give insight, but he will like to speak openly. It is a fact that all the members have already been said that uh, he's a person, but he never afraid to anybody. He have always proof and shown that he's a, that a person that he, he never afraid because he stands with his own principle. Integrity is very important uh, in, in his part. So while you remember of the contribution of R. Jirindo, former Malay minister, a teacher, a bicentralist, a music lover, an author, many contributions that have already been done during, during his, uh, during his uh, tenure. But his loss, a good loss to few members, and also the, uh, the 16 years long, and also the, and also the people of uh, the state as a whole. So in the meantime, sir, I would like also to convey my condolences the loss of the Thali uh, Kunil of Hashir, the loss of our late Bibi Gurung, former Chief Minister of uh, Sikkim. I also would like to convey my condolences uh, to late uh, El Sankara Narayanan. I also would like to convey my uh, condolences to the late Pandit Sukram. I also would like to convey my uh, condolences to late Tota Singh. Also, would like to convey my condolences uh, to late Shivaji Patnaik. Also, sir, would like to convey my condolences to late uh, Prayan Gopal uh, Lak Lakrishanan. Also, would like sir, to convey my condolences to late Rajesh uh, Gupta. Then, sir, I would also like, sir, would like to convey my condolences, condolences, condolences to late Eji uh, Gurji. Then, we also lost, sir, also convey my condolences to lead Babu Rao uh, Pashami. The last but sir, we have also lost the leader like Subhash Singh. So I convey my condolences to all the uh, members of the family and I pray to Almighty God to uh, console them at this hours of grief and sorrow. May the part of the soul rest in peace. With this word, thank you, Deputy Speaker, sir. I also rise to offer my deep condolences to all the 17 great personalities who have lost. And I express my deep condolences to the all families, the brief family of all these 17 uh, great personalities that we have lost. I want to especially mention the great leader who belonged from our own beloved states, eh? Late Robert Karshing, late J.D. Rumbai, late Singh Muli, late Albingston M. Sangma, and late R.G. Lingdo. All these five legislators who have been elected by our own people from different constituencies, it is a great loss to the community, it is a great loss to the state, and it is a great loss to the family members who have lost these five personalities from our own state. Sir, out of these five great personalities of our own state, I have got the privilege to meet only two of them. That is Master Jadir Bai and Master Arjilingdo. 
why they are in their different position in the state of Meghalaya. I have met Arjilingro and I have seen him as the person who dare to speak the truth and who have no fear <coughs> to say when he understand that it is truth to say anything. And I really appreciated him that time. <coughs> I cannot forget when I watched in a TV, when I saw him courageously, he led the people from Light Umkrak towards Polo Crown on the Independence Day to celebrate the Independence Day on 15th of, on 15th of August. I appreciated that time looking at him as a leader <coughs> who are daring and who have the courage. Sir, we have lost him and he has left a great legacy to us and we can learn from him how to be courage and to be daring to speak the truth. I have also an opportunity to meet Masa Jedi Rambai when he was chief minister for a short time, but I have uh, I got an, I, a privilege to meet him that time. And I have seen in him, sir, the simplicity that he is having. And I am very, very proud to know that he has been re-elected so many times from his constituency due to his simplicity. I think we need to learn this great thing from this great leader who has been elected several times due to his goodness, due to his simplicity. It is very difficult time now because people nowadays, they do not believe on simplicity and honesty. But we are very happy to see that this great leader, he can put an example in front of us that we can win election by honesty and by simplicity. Sir, we learn this great lesson from this great leader and it is our responsibility to try ourselves to follow the good footsteps of this great leader. So once again, sir, from my side, I want to express and to send a condolences to all this family and may God bless all this brief family uh, in their life and they will feel the comfort from the Almighty God to all these family members. Thank you, sir.